All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Haley. Oh, wow, you got you got those skills, man. You got the whistle skills. All right, good morning, everybody. Thank you for showing up on a smoky, hot day, hot Thursday. Let's kick it off with how we like to do it every week with tell me something good. So who has something good? A new lead, a new loan, a new closing. No? Valerie, you um go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I just this land listing is ridiculous. It has fire. It's a burned out building. It has fire. It has cleanup issues, and it might get dammed, so it might be underwater here in the near future. It's a riverfront property. There you go. There you go. All right. Positivity. Love it, Luis. You got something? Um, I had two deals closed this last week, and I have two more coming. There you go. Congratulations. Where did those deals come from? The ones that closed? Uh, one was a seller buyer combo from an open house, the Jason listing I had from way back. Mm -hmm. um, they closed on their Lennar home next week. By the way, I don't know if you guys know, but Lennar is playing golf again. 1% for non MLS, I think 1.5% or 2% for MLS listings at pretty much all locations. So take advantage of that. It's obviously like a 1.5%. Uh, and then the other one was fear. The other two were actually fear. So okay. the house for the combo and then the other two were fear. Got it. So when you're reaching out to your spirit, are you doing that systematically or was this just organic? Like um, one of them was my best friend's little brother's girlfriend. She's 22, bought her first condo. Wow. And then, uh, the other one was one of my front line um, church members that I'm helping her do. So oh, there you go. She was like banned. Funny enough, she's actually a super MIA, so I'm just like kicking her back like a portion of the commission because she was like not being responsible for her own deal. But anyway, it's a deal. I'm going to still pay it for it. Like we're still here. There you go. She didn't do her income. So yeah, that's, it's actually her lead technically that she wasn't getting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, as long as you close it. Go ahead, Rodney. Yeah, I got a couple of unique ones that I'm pretty excited about. It's, uh, I, you know, one of those online vendors where press button get mortgage yeah. doesn't always work like that. Um, and it was a, really what it gets down to was a classification of income, getting a loan, something there was a lot of complexity in moving parts, uh, and everyone makes an income, but how the income is actually classified is super important, and it was getting classified in my opinion, so they didn't know how to really frame it up as variable income, which is a different calculation of the number than when it's standard. So they were, you know, two weeks from closing on the transaction that's where they came to be, and we're ready to close now by getting the package put together. So super excited to take one from the online vendor. There you go. Then I have another one that came in the same, a, a different kind of thing with a tile problem, which is, is kind of uh, not common, but you know it's nice when you can solve those as well. Where for whatever reason, when they bought the home, the title company reported two loans, one that had nothing to do with the property. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> On the property, and so the other lender that had it couldn't do it, and you know another transaction they were selling. Them. And uh, so I solved the title problem. And we're able to that. So, Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. Round of applause. Yeah, Rodney. Speaking of, since we're talking about loans, what's happening in the wonderful world of lending? Uh, the wonderful the world of lending has been super volatile here as of late. Yeah. I think it's going to start trending down. Uh, again, as I said from the beginning of this year, I expect by the end of the year, we'll probably be in the fours. Uh, recently, I had a conversation with someone else in the company, and they think it's going to be maybe even more in a quarter by the end of the year, beginning of the year kind of time frame. So uh, that's something to look forward to. But in the meantime, because you know prices are up and rates are generally up from obviously from the beginning of the year, a ton of rate programs are at, in the market right now. I have one that's 5% down, verification of employment only. That's kind of scary, right? Yeah. Um, I have 100% financing available with a, with a home equity line of credit. That you can do so that you can you know do some stacking get away from some of the terrible pricing which actually uh speaking of that uh, didn't think of that until right now when i said it the new loan amount that's anticipated coming for this not a high balance but conforming loan limit is 722. i have that available right now so if you are in a situation and you would be looking at a jumbo otherwise um don't go that way because income qualification is a lot harder and, and reserves are what you usually require um, go the conforming way, and that money is available. So 722 could be your 
no, uh, you know, your new income uh, or loan money. That's an exciting thing. So Super exciting. You know, because of the market the way it is, there is a lot of companies closing in the marketplace, going out of business, downsizing. Make sure you're checking with whoever you're working with to be able to close. Because I've heard of some people already that haven't been able to the last minute because that company literally overnight. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like big companies, big companies. The wholesale, more on the wholesale side, right? So you might not yeah. notice that. But, you know, to deal with the broker, which was great to deal with noise brokers. Um, that's where that, you know, sort of not clear picture comes through. So they were getting a loan through Amerisave and then Amerisave said, uh, Amerisave was one of them actually. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. You okay. Know, which is a big, you know, national company. But Got there's it. a bunch of them. And, and local, not local, but like even like say Wells Fargo or whatever, they're like cutting 25% of the Okay. So big, big changes coming as kind of, you know, right sizing for the slowdown the drip when rates went up. Hate that term, right sizing. <laughs> I've been right sized before, and it ain't right. You know, <laughs> doesn't feel right. Does not feel right. No, it does not. Awesome. It looks like you got somebody on there. Our youngest daughter. This is the uh... Tammy. Yeah. Congratulations, Tammy. Congratulations, Tammy. I don't know where are you. I can't see. Oh, there you are. There you are. Yeah, yeah. Give a round of applause. Are you gonna Are you gonna sponsor her, Tammy? All right. So we are running short on time. Well, not short necessarily. We got, um, but we want to be respectful. We got uh, a living legend, Mr. Jeff Sipes in the room. But before we go to Jeff, today launches the quick start. If you're interested in this, if you're new to real estate and you want to know how to build a database, how to do a newsletter, how to host mega open houses, how to follow up with the leads, this starts today on Zoom at 12 um, o'clock. And then... Brent also wanted me to, to announce about this this one. There's a um, one day boot camp coming up rapidly, September 23rd. It's in it's in uh, Incline Village in Tahoe. Let me close this down so we can see this a little bit better. But so you can attract a large amount of interest in your business without having to chase it. It's going to be an incredible event, and the the speaker is actually Coach Bert. So he's Coach Bert has spoken at our at our team meeting before. I know Tom Davis does a lot with them. This dude is incredible. Um, let me put this in the chat box. For any of you who are interested in attending the the event, and then um, what else do we have coming up? September twenty second, so the day before um, Coach Bert here at PCAR, we're going to have become a real estate marketing monster. This is a free event at PCAR. Brent's going to be bringing in somebody huge. I'm not exactly sure who yet, but they're always great. So make sure that you have that on your calendar. And then the last and certainly not least. Next week at our team meeting, we are going to be having James Becker. He's the uh, the founder and CEO of Fusion. And he's going to be speaking on how to maximize your time. So how to, how to make more money in less time. He's going to be going over this, this tool. I've heard other agents use with great success. So he'll be sharing with us that with us for free next week. So with that, any questions on the upcoming events? There's a whole lot. Yeah, J yeah, James Becker. He'll be he'll be streaming in Zoom, but it will be live next Thursday at a regular ten o'clock meeting. So with that, we've done the housekeeping. Jeff, you are up, my friend. Let's make sure he's co-host. Everybody, give a round of roll. welcome to hey, Jeff. Hey, thanks for having me. Super excited to share with you guys. Um, raise your hand if you've heard me talk before. All right, good, good. So I got some credit updates. If I could share my screen, do you have me shareable, Johnny? All yeah, right. man, your co-host. Cool, cool. So I love your guys' energy. I love your passion. I love that uh, you guys love to help people, right? That's what it's about. Make a difference, right? Go get mad, make a difference. So um, we're going to start this from the beginning. So today we're going to talk about how to create clients out of thin air using credit repair. I'm going to go over recent changes with medical collections, biggest change in credit since I've been in, in the business over 12 years, 11 secret ingredients. So if anybody wants to know the secret ingredient on credit scores, I'm going to give you the 11 credit score ingredients, and I got to give a disclaimer, uh, make sure you're not getting your credit and financial advice off Facebook and TikTok. Um, literally yesterday, uh, someone tagged me in a Facebook post. And uh, it was a lender. I'm not going to put any names out there, but it was a lender. And it was giving credit advice. 
and I wouldn't say it was uh, very accurate. So I kind of reposted kind of what was accurate about uh, his statement. So make sure you guys, you know, uh, I'm going to give you truth today. So take some notes. Um, we have this on our website too. So, and then uh, there's some big changes uh, that we are um, in credit. Two big changes I'll talk about that were to happen this year. Uh, one has to do with school loans. So that's a big deal. And then uh, lastly, I'm going to talk about how to build a budget to help you guys reach your financial freedom. Um, you can obviously share this with your clients, um, especially if they're in a position where they need to pay down debt or uh, try to save up for down payment on a house. So uh, most of you guys raise your hand. So my wife, Natalie, and I are the owners of Blue Water Credit. Uh, we're a legal and ethical credit repair company. Uh, we actually started our company in 2008 with a vision to love and value people by offering solutions and giving hope and guidance to anyone struggling with bad credit. Um, for those of you that heard me talk before, you know I was our first client 27 years ago. Uh, dropped out of college to start a business and wrecked my credit. I was hiding my Jeep. They were trying to repossess it at the time. Credit was so bad, I couldn't even open a bank account. So I dug myself out of that mess, ended up repairing my credit. And uh, 2008, we saw a great opportunity to open up a credit repair company. So we partner with real estate agents like yourself and mortgage professionals. And our passion is helping people get pre-qualified for a home so they can have the dream of home ownership. Two services that we offer, uh, credit repair, which is uh, the removal of information from a credit report. Um, good news is uh, collections, late payments, things like that. About 79% of credit reports have a mistake. And what we do is we go through a credit report with a client and uh, we're looking for information that's inaccurate, it's incomplete, or it can't be verified, and we can get it removed from a credit report. So if we get a collection off a credit report, we can see a score go up by 80 points. So the second piece is we also have a debt negotiator on staff. So if you guys have clients that have you know, collections or a charge off or a repo, second mortgages, something that needs to be settled to get a home loan, we can assist them with that. And then if you have clients that are struggling with debt, uh, we do have some debt options for clients as well. So love to be a resource for you and your clients. Now, first off the bat, I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but I just want to cover it just to make sure everybody understands credit scores online are not accurate. I see them being off over 100 points sometimes. I saw Rodney. Uh, Rodney, I believe that was you in the back, Rodney Rose. Um, he and I have spoken before, and uh, this is definitely a topic. Rodney, do you care, care to... Uh, to let the group know, how often do you see someone say, I know my credit score, how often does that match your credit score? Uh, yeah. All the time, and I love your line, unless it says FICO, it's a FACO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so just realize you guys, um, uh, credit karma is, is about as accurate as Zillow's estimate or even worse. And so the credit scores online are considered educational scores. So there's only two ways for you to know your client's credit score. We always recommend is have them get pre-approved, right? Go to your favorite lender, have your clients get pre-approved before you start showing houses. If your client's like, yeah, I really want to know what my accurate credit score is, this is the only website to get in a mortgage credit score. It's at myfico.com. They do have to spend some money to get it, but it's going to give them an accurate mortgage credit score. Now, um, it does cost money. Like I said, it's $29.95 if they sign up for their monthly program or if they want a credit score with no strings attached and a credit report, it's going to cost them around 60 bucks. So plan A is get them pre-approved with your favorite lender. Plan B is, hey, go to this website, spend some money, and then look at what your mortgage credit score is because those are the only two ways to know what a credit score is. Um, other than that, if they're looking at anything online, it could be, like I said, over 100 points off. So credit updates. Um, so we're looking at big changes this year for credit. Um, so as of July, July 31st, paid medical collections can no longer report on a credit report. So if you guys are looking for a reason to contact your database, this is a great reason to reach out to them. Just let them know, hey, there's been some big changes to credit reporting lately. Paid medical collections are no longer allowed to be uh, reporting on your credit. Just wanted to check in with you to see if you had any questions about that. That's kind of a good conversation topic to have. Um, next year, um, medical collections with small balances under $500 will not be allowed to report on a credit report. So those are two big changes. Um, paid medical collections can't be on there now. Next year, 
medical collections with a balance under $500 won't be allowed to show up on the credit. Now, if you do have a client that has small medical collections, we have an instant deletion tool. We're one of the only credit card companies where we have a direct portal with the credit bureau. And we can literally get a medical collection with a small balance deleted within five minutes. So if you have a client that's trying to get pre-qualified, that's a great uh, opportunity for us to help them so that they can get have a higher credit score and get a better financing terms. Now, second big change is um, because of the pandemic, uh, the CARES Act was rolled out in 2020. And one of those changes was that we have access to annualcreditreport.com once a week. So that's going to sunset on December 31st. So at the end of this year, we're going to lose our opportunity to get the credit report for free once a week. And it's going to go back to annual credit report, which means you get it once a year. This credit report has the most accurate information, and it's the only credit report that's going to tell you and your client when the collections are falling off the credit report. They call that the purge date. So if you go to TransUnion at annualcreditreport.com, um, you're going to be able to see the month that the collection is coming off the credit report. So if you have a client that says they think a collection is over seven years old, this is the best website to go to to find out when it's actually going to fall off. And then obviously, if the information is incorrect, that's a great opportunity for us to get involved and help them. The next big change is federal school loans. So because of the pandemic, federal school loan payments have been paused. Now, they were supposed to start up again September 1st. But the current administration pushed the payments out again. They said, allegedly, this is the last time that's going to happen. But student loan payments, that's federal school loans, not private. Federal school loans are paused through December 31st, 2022. What that means is no payments are due. They're, at, they're not accruing any interest right now. And if you come across the client that says they have federal school loans that have gone to collections, there's a program called rehabilitation that we can help them enter. It's a free program. We do not charge for this. It's absolutely free. Um, it does take 10 months to go through the rehabilitation program. But the great thing about it is after 10 months, they get brand new school loans and those old loans get erased off their credit. So it's going to help them really rebuild their credit. It does take about 10 months. Like I said, it's completely free and that's something that we can walk through with the client for free as well. All right, um, how to build a budget. So I'm going to give you um, four simple steps on how to build a budget. One is you have to know what you spend each month. So we recommend looking back for 12 months because you're going to need birthdays, vacations, Christmas, you know, school, all the stuff that we have some months are higher than others and expenses. So you need to look back 12 months, find out what your average spending is. Then you can kind of put that into an Excel spreadsheet because Unless you measure it, you can't manage it. So we recommend just going online. There's tons of free, uh, free software you can go, um, or you can just put it in an Excel spreadsheet and then realize based on that, is there anything that we can cut down, right? So there's two ways uh, to increase your bottom line in business or at home is make more money, spend less money, right? So is there anything that you can cut out, right? I've seen, um, I've seen some good information on, you know, reducing the amount of times we go to Starbucks or, you know, um, cutting out soda when you go to restaurants or whatever. So there's lots of help, helpful tips that you guys can provide to your clients um, because we are in inflationary period, obviously. So things are costing a little bit more. So second is pay off debt. We recommend, uh, there's two ways. You guys are familiar with Dave Ramsey. There's the debt snowball and the debt avalanche. Okay, the debt snowball is paying off the smallest balances first. And the debt avalanche is paying off the highest interest first. So I'm going to talk on a credit from a credit standpoint. The debt snowball is going to improve a credit score faster than the debt avalanche. So if your client's trying to improve their credit score, debt snowball, pay off the smallest balances first. If they're wanting to get out of debt faster and their score isn't as important, then we recommend tackling the highest interest rates first. So, and then once they're out of debt, once they pay off their credit cards, then they need to start savings, right? So we recommend having three to six months of your monthly expenses in a savings account. And then once they establish that, then we recommend putting away a minimum of 10% of your income into investment. So obviously real estate, um, we want to save for a down payment on a house or a rental property. 
And then um, once you've satisfied uh, your, your goals there, then you can look at investing in uh, mutual funds or 401k or stock. So if you can kind of live um, on 90% of your income and, and always save 10%, I mean, that's going to be a great rule of thumb. Next is um, if your clients do not have uh, enough credit, uh, we've got some new accounts that we can help, help build their credit. So we have a, our own credit card. It's a secured card. It reports to the credit bureaus within seven days. Um, I'll give you my email at the end. If you guys are interested in me sending you that information, I'd be happy to. We also have a credit builder loan. It's $15 a month minimum, goes into a savings account. It reports just like a, a car loan will on the credit. So if you have a client that does not have a car loan, um, opening this credit builder loan will help their credit. I'll talk more about how much in a second. And then um, third is adding rental history. This is kind of new. It only reports to two of the three bureaus. So I'm not really advocating that. I just wanted you guys to know that there is the potential to add rental history to credit two of the three bureaus at this point. Um, and I, if you're on Facebook or TikTok, you probably heard Experian Boost. Um, all the research I've done, Experian Boost does not impact the mortgage FICO score. So um, the mortgage FICO score is a little outdated. Um, rumor, rumor has it that um, FICO, I'm sorry, the mortgage industry is going to be adopting a new credit score in the next 18 months which would be huge because it's been, the current credit scoring model for mortgages has been around for about 20 plus years. So as of today, the more Experian Boost does not have a benefit for a mortgage credit score. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys FICO's secret credit scoring formula. Here's 11 factors. I'm gonna fly through these uh, for sake of time. Johnny gave me 20 minutes, but feel dude, free to ask. Any time you want, this is good stuff. Oh, right on dude, cool. All right, so. FICO secret credit scoring formula. So let me give you guys some context. I don't want to go too deep into the details because obviously it kind of becomes overwhelming, but um, there are roughly 60 FICO scoring models, six, zero, 60. So I'm giving you guys kind of like a broad stroke. Um, this is the general formula, right? Um, kind of like with exercise, right? Is if you do cardio, you eat healthy, you know, you're going to get healthier, right? Um, so with with this, these 11 factors are, are, are uh, a broad overview of all of FICO's credit scoring models. So um, FICO looks at the number of credit cards we have. That's a roughly 30 points of our score. So if you have a client with no credit cards, if they open one credit card, they will see an increase in their score. FICO's sweet spot is two to four credit cards. So if you have two to four credit cards, that's perfect for the highest possible credit score. If you have five or more credit cards, which I, me and my wife have more than five, um, you can still have a high credit score. Uh, you can still have an 800 credit score, um, but to have the optimum points in this category, two to four is the sweet spot. Second part of that is our age of our credit cards. FICO gives us 40 points of our credit score based on how old our credit card is. So you can see there's actually nine little categories here if it's a brand new credit card, you know, less than six months, it's not going to be giving you uh, a, a very as much as if it's between six years and two, uh, six months and two years. And then it goes to two to four years, four to five. And then um, if you really want that perfect credit score, you, you need a credit card with like a 20 plus year payment history. So for those of you um, that are trying to, to maybe give advice, or if you want to send a client to us for advice, you can have your client added as an authorized user to a credit card. Now, we don't recommend buying that because I was just at a credit conference in Dallas. Um, I think the same time you guys had a conference and um, we were at a credit conference in Dallas and they talked about that the, the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC and the CFPB are cracking down on companies that are selling trade lines, selling old credit cards. So don't have your clients pay for one but they can go to a friend or family member, significant other, spouse, and they can add, the, the person with an old credit card can add your client to their credit card and they inherit the entire payment history. So that's definitely a way to help build their credit. Um, next is age of our loan. So our car loan, our personal loan, our school loan. FICO is looking back, how long have we had one? The older the loan, the better. So here, similar to the credit cards, FICO wants to see a 20, we've had a, a loan for over 20 years. So 
that's going to be up to 30 points of our credit score. Inquiries. Everyone thinks inquiries are this huge part of our score. So FICO says inquiries impact the score zero, if you have zero, up to 20 points. So now I want to give you guys a little side note here. In the mortgage industry, FICO gives your clients 30 days to get quotes or to have mortgage people pull their credit. So there's a 30-day window. They call it to rate shop in the mortgage industry. So if three or four lenders check your client's credit within 30 days, it's only going to hurt them one time. And FICO does say a hard inquiry when you apply for a house, a car, a credit card, it impacts the score typically up to five points. And they, they hold that against your client for, for a year, so 12 months. So you can see if somebody has zero inquiries, they're going to get 20 points out of this, um, out of this, this bucket of the credit score. And then if they apply for credit, you know, all the time or you know once a month or every couple months they're gonna their score is going to be limited by about 20 points so newest loan or credit card so fico does look at our newest account open they want to see our or newest account has a six month payment history on it so that's 10 points of our score so if you or your clients do get a new mortgage or a new loan typically your score does go down um, uh, roughly five to ten points until you get a six month payment history and then you get that, um, that 10 points back. Number of accounts with balances. Um, so how many of your loans and credit cards currently have balances? So um, obviously in a perfect world, it's gonna, be it's gonna be tough to have four accounts with balances. For most of us, if we have a car loan, a home loan, a couple of credit cards, you might, uh, you might exceed this. But luckily this is only 10 points of our score. You know, if you have nine, or more loans with balances, you're gonna be obviously your score, uh, you might hit, take a 10 point hit here. And so if you have a client trying to get pre-approved, um, obviously have uh, try to have them pay off some accounts if, if possible, and uh, try to get them down to four accounts or so with balances. Now balances on non-mortgage accounts. So this is like our car loans and stuff. Um, Ideally, they want a smaller balance, uh, but like I said, in reality, it's going to be tough. Somebody has a big car loan, they're probably not going to be able to throw a lot of money at that. But if you do have somebody with funds and they do want to pay down a car loan, it will improve their score. It can improve their score up to 15 points by paying down a car loan. Um, but like I said, that could be a lot of money. I'm going to give you another tip here in just a second um, on how to improve a score even more. I'll Payment history, most of us know late payments um, have a significant impact on the score. So this is where we can um, lose or gain up to 175 points. So if you have a client with late payments and it, we're able to work with them and get some of those late payments removed, you can see a significant increase in the score. So never missing a payment, you're gonna get all, all 175 points here. And then the more recent the, the late payments are, the more it impacts the score. Late payments report for a total of seven years. And so you see on this little chart here that after four years, late payments really don't hurt your score nearly as much as they did when they were more recent. FICO also looks at how severe. Was it a 30-day, 60-day, 90-day, or 180-day late? Obviously, if you go 180 days late, it's going to impact your score much more than just one 30-day late. Jeff, I got a question for you. On, that, on those late payments, you mentioned that you can get them removed. This is probably... Tough to give an exact answer, but roundabout, what does it cost to get something like that removed and what could be an, a bump on the, like an increase on the credit score? Sure, totally, absolutely, yeah. So um, so we're, um, so we've worked with, you know, uh, probably over 14,000 people now. So we've got a good track record. And so some late payments are easier to get removed than others. If you have a client that had a late payment and they have any type of documentation, whether it was, you know, they should have been in forbearance um, they worked out a loan modification because of COVID, uh, because um, they had auto payments and maybe the auto pay, their bill payment center was uh, down. These are all good reasons. Um, if it was one isolated late payment, it's a, it's a higher success rate in removing that than like a 90 day late. Um, so we always do a free consultation up front. We're going to tell the client, hey, this is something we feel we can have success with or not. And then um, if the client we always look at risk and risk versus reward. You know, if it's if it's going to save them thousands of dollars on the loan, then we definitely you know can take a take a stab at it. We do have a couple options on our our programs. 
Um, most of our clients are paying us around $170 a month for our work. Now we do have a money back guarantee. So say for instance, the client hires us, um, we get started on this and we're not successful after 90 days. We typically will issue a refund to the client. Um, so, so, you know, if we're successful, then we will obviously, uh, they, they would have paid us. So, but if they're not successful, like I said, we do have a money back guarantee. So if we can't get any results, Johnny, then we wouldn't charge the client. Okay, cool. That helps. Thank you. you bet. Number of accounts past due. So um, if you ever come across someone that just let their car loan or something slip past due, um, just bringing that loan current will improve their score up to 40 points. So um, that's why we definitely recommend um, for any of you uh, that have clients with federal school loans, please make sure you have a conversation with them before the end of the year. Let them know, make sure your payment information is current with the Department of Education because the Department of Education doesn't mark a 30 or 60 day late payment. So they just mark a 90 day late payment. So if your client doesn't have their email address and phone number updated with the Department of Education and the bank account they switched or whatever uh, payment method they switched, in um, April, they literally could have 90 day late payments on their credit report and not even know it because they thought for some reason that they didn't have to make a payment or they were just unaware. So have a conversation with you guys as client about the federal school loans, make sure their information is up to date for payment and all their information on their account is current. So this is the big one. Um, sorry, I've been giving you guys lots of information. This is one I want you to highlight, circle, underline. Um, so credit card utilization, one maxed out credit card can drop a score by 40 points. So let me give you an example. Uh, we see people all the time with a $300 credit card limit. And let's just say hypothetically, they go to Costco. I don't know about you, but I think it's impossible to spend less than $300 at Costco. But so they max out their credit card at Costco. Then they find their dream house. Rodney checks their credit. And then bang, their credit score is down 40 points just because of that one credit card's maxed out. If they have multiple credit cards maxed out, their score can be down by as much as 100 points. So paying off credit cards is the easiest way to move the credit score up. To have the highest possible credit score, I circled the answer here, they need to have between zero and 10% charged on the credit card. So if it's a $1,000 credit card, zero to $100 is the perfect balance to give them the highest possible credit score. And then last, you guys uh, probably understand bankruptcy, repo, collection, those have a huge impact on the credit score, um, up to 80 points per account. And luckily, um, collections are one of the easier things for us to get deleted from a credit report, just because we have relationships at collection agencies, so we can negotiate that to be deleted within a few weeks. Um, and fortunately, collection agencies a lot of times make a mistake in how they report it, so we can definitely um, have a high success in getting collections removed. All right, um, identity theft is on the rise. Um, so make sure you and your clients are checking your credit report every month. I'm okay with you guys using Credit Karma um, for the credit report, not the credit score. Uh, you guys can uh, have credit monitoring, that's all great. Now, if you do hear or uh, come across somebody with identity theft, they can put a fraud alert on their credit. They can also freeze their credit. This is something that we can help them clear up. Typically, we, it takes about 30 to 90 days to get it fixed. Um, but we want to look at their credit report, find out if there's any addresses on there that are not theirs, because when the, your identity is stolen, usually the thief is trying to send something to a new address. So, and then just make sure you're telling your clients, be safe, make sure that you're not logging on to internet um, uh, connections that aren't secure, you know, be careful what you're clicking on with your emails. You know, if you have an uncle that, that you didn't know about in a foreign country, that's going to give you a million dollars and you just need to send them $10,000 first, just you know, common sense, just if it sounds too good to be true, probably is so. Um, and then we do have a partnership with a company called Identity IQ. Um, they have credit scores, credit monitoring, and ID theft protection. Um, we've sent them um, thousands of clients. And so we have a discounted rate if you or your clients ever wanted to get identity theft protection. Um, this is a better uh, program than what LifeLock offers, and it's only $20 a month. So um, feel free to email me. My email address I'll give you in just a moment, uh, but I can get you the link to the secure credit cards, um, identity IQ, and also the uh, credit builder card. So um, I kind of talked a little bit about our success and how our programs work, but 
Um, on average, our clients are seeing a 15 to 20 point increase in their credit score each month. Generally, we're able to remove 40 to 50% of the negative accounts and results can be seen as soon as one day, but typically they take about 35 days. And um, our program is a maximum of six months. So if you have a client with a really low credit score, typically we're gonna look at maybe four to six months, uh, but if their scores just need a little bump, we might lo be looking at you know uh, maybe a month or month or two to get them going. And then you guys can do an email introduction. Um, we also have a secure portal on our website. I'll show you in just a second. If you guys send your client over, we'll schedule the free appointment. We'll update you on the outcome. And then if they end up hiring us, we can track your client to you and also to your lender partner and give both of you guys updates. And then, as I mentioned, we do have a satisfaction guarantee. So for whatever reason, um, we can issue a refund for the client. Obviously, we know your client was probably a referral to you and we wanna protect your relationship with them. And then we have a ton of free resources. So if you guys are into doing any type of marketing through your database or social media, um, we've got over 300 blog articles you guys can share. We have four eBooks that you can download. Um, just go to the education tab on our website. You can download our 2022 credit score guide. We also have a 30, how to get 30 points in 30 days ebook you can send out and then um, check out our blog. Uh, we've, we're writing blogs probably about every two weeks and they're on current real estate credit topics. You guys can share those through social. Um, if you guys want to do a video on it, you know, the reason we push that, re that information out is to be a resource for you guys. So, all right. Um, oh, and then I wanted to say, if you guys do have a client uh, that potentially would need our services, if you guys send them over in the next week, I'll give you a $5 Starbucks card as a thank you. Um, you can send the client through our website. Um, you can refer them that way. Or you could email me directly, jeff at bluewatercredit.com. And uh, I'll close out and maybe we can take some questions now, Johnny. All right. Yeah, yeah. Who, so who's got some questions for Jeff? I know that was a whirlwind presentation, but who's got some questions? Tom does. Tom? Hey, Jeff. Thanks for noticing. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Cool. Hey, uh, so much good information. I'm at the gym here trying to take notes and snap uh, screenshots. You mentioned uh, the credit reporting. It, what did you say? If it's or maybe Rodney said, if it's not FICO, it's FICO. Um, mm -hmm. You said uh, those are all not good unless they're run by a lender. But then you mentioned that annualcreditreport.com is the most accurate. So forgive me, I'm a little confused. Should oh, we yeah, only sure. have a lender do it, or should we? Is yes. annual credit report okay? Yep, I'm gonna give you two, two. So credit report, credit score. Okay, so credit report only, annualcreditreport.com. Credit score is your lender or my FICO.com. So if you wanna know credit score, you gotta go to your lender or my FICO. But if you just wanna look at your information on your credit report, annualcreditreport.com is, is the most accurate. Okay, so to get the most accurate, it needs to be myfico.com or lender. Credit score, yes. Myfico.com or lender. Perfect, thank you. And then a quick follow-up, if you're not opposed. Um, you mentioned uh, budgeting software. I'm really interested in that. What, what do you recommend is good? You mentioned some are free, some you pay for. What do you recommend uh, in budgeting uh, so, software? Um, uh, I've, I've gone back and forth where I'm a believer and you got to keep it simple or people don't do it. Um, so we actually have um, created a very simple budget that we coach our clients on. So I'm happy to share that with you. Just email me, jeff at bluewatercredit.com, or I can share, share it with you, Johnny, and then you can pass it out to the team. Yeah. Can you share it with me too, Jeff, just so I can do that? Just yep, in case. Absolutely. I'll send it over. Cool. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Absolutely. Uh, we got another question in there, Jeff. What's the average monthly cost for your services? Like you mentioned 175, is that typical? Yep, that's an average cost. I'd say 150 to $175. Um, we charge for credit repair and then our debt negotiator is $99 an hour. Um, so it's probably about $100 uh, for her to negotiate a collection. But most of the time we're looking at saving the client because we're getting a reduced settlement. Um, and then we can also negotiate for deletion. So. But um, generally speaking, our clients are probably spending about $170 a month, month with us. And then, like I said, if they don't see any results, uh, we issue a refund. And like we only take on clients we feel would benefit from our services. So, you know, I really want you guys to feel peace of mind that referring to us is going to be a good experience for them. 100%. And then if you, if you have any doubts, just check out the reviews. They're, they're, they have so many 
in reviews. I'm jealous. Um, we got another question in here. Um, what is the age limit? What's the youngest? How young can the sum or how old does somebody have to be for you to add them to as an authorized user on your credit card? Uh, that's a great question. Um, so, I mean, I really don't recommend building credit until somebody's 18. Um, there's been uh, some recent studies showing that, you know, uh, children's identity theft is kind of on the rise. So I'm not trying to say that to be like, I don't have, you know, identity theft protection for my kids or anything. Obviously, I can fix it if they had it, but um, <laughs> uh, I would recommend. So you can I always I always say it's uh, having good credit is kind of a responsibility because they can literally go out and get stuff with it. So I was um, 18 uh, going to Sierra College. And I got, uh, back then they could have credit card companies at, to, at the colleges. And I signed up, got a student visa, $700 limit. Within two weeks, I had $700 charge, right? And I didn't have the ability to pay it off. So um, I recommend just making sure as long, if you know your kid, um, as long as they can be responsible, add them as an authorized user when they're 18. And then uh, if you can keep them kind of, you know, uh, at a $500 limit or less, I think there's less opportunity for them to go down the the debt route, which we never want to see anyone go that way. Got it. Got it. Any other questions? I know I got one, but I want to give other people a chance. So you mentioned on the um, credit card utilization that paying off credit cards is obviously the quickest way to get see a bump in that score. What other people have said, and this may have been fake news from Instagram, That's but getting nice. getting the balances below 40%, if you have multiple cards rather than paying them off, can, can see a bump. Is that true or is that not correct. Um, I use the analogy, uh, your credit card balances in your credit score are like a teeter totter. And so um, every 10%, so um, 90 to 100%, 80 to 90%, 70 to 60. So every 10% is going to improve your score until you get down to 10%, the zero to 10% is the maximum. So let's just give you an example. If um, in theory, if you had five max out credit cards and it's hurting your score by a hundred points. And if you paid those down um, by 60%, you'd see a 60 point increase in the score. Okay. So, yep. So that's basically just a kind of general um, um, information. Each credit scoring model could be slightly different, but you know, if you have multiple maxed out credit cards, you're probably losing about hundred points. And then mm -hmm. as you pay those down 10%, you're going to get 10 points each, um, every 10% you pay down. So, so using that example, if I had the five and I said, I'm going to do the debt av avalanche um, option, and I wanted to just pay off the highest interest one first, would that benefit me more or then paying, like if I paid it down 50%, would that benefit me more than if I paid off five credit cards at 10% each, or is it a wash? Um, you're better off uh, paying off multiple cards than one card. Okay. Credit from, I'm talking credit score, credit score, you're better off. Uh, bringing multiple card balances down because they weigh each card individually. Um, but from a financial standpoint, highest interest rate is going to get you out of debt faster. So credit score is going to be the debt snowball. Um, the debt avalanche is get out of debt faster. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Any other questions for Jeff? And then I've also heard a lot that you're supposed to leave those cards open even though you pay them off. Did you hear that? I didn't hear what that said. What was that, Barry? Yeah, yeah. I'm real He's quiet. never had this problem I'm before. Quiet. I'm really shocked. Hell just froze over. It's 110 <laughs> outside and hell froze over. It's oh, what I tell Barry. I speak know. Up? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Should I leave those cards when I pay them off? Should I leave them open? Um, but but just pay them off, right? Don't yeah. Move. So um, I flew through a ton of information and sorry. Um, so FICO, in, in a perfect world, they like to see two to four credit cards open, Barry. Two to four is a sweet spot. Um, but then you also have to look at, they look at your oldest credit card. So never close your oldest credit card. Um, if you have more than four credit cards and you want to close a new one, it's okay as long as you don't have balances on the other ones. Got it. Yep. Cool. It's like a recipe, man. Too much salt, too much cumin. You got to be careful <laughs> what you're doing. So we see um, another question came in on the chat. How long are the terms? You mentioned getting a refund at the end of... A 90 day period, but what determines the end? Oh, sure. Yeah. So our program is month to month with a maximum of six months. So there's no obligation. They can cancel with us whenever they're satisfied with the results. And then at six months, we stop because that's typically the highest we're going to improve their score 
Um, we do a lot of credit coaching. So we're working on, um, we're like a defense attorney going after their negative accounts, trying to find errors. And then we're also coaching them, right? How to, how to be a good steward with their finances and credit card utilization. If they need to open any accounts, add as an authorized user. So we're really working in two ways. So it's kind of like working with a trainer. We're working out and then we're also giving them nutrition information. So we're giving them financial information and also helping them with improving their credit. But our program is month to month. There's no obligation to stay with us. And then at six months, we, we stop. Got it. Got it. And then you did cover, you gave us your email, but if somebody wanted to, if we wanted to connect a client with you, what's the best way? Just give your office a call. Is there a portal? Send you an email? Email introduction is the best way. So um, you guys can email, introduce me if you'd like, and then I'll set them up with Lori and Troy for an appointment. Um, you can also go to our website, which is uh, bluewatercredit.com. Go to the referral partner page, and then there's a secure link to put your client's information in, put your name, and then hit submit, and then it'll come straight to our office, and it's secure. So you can either email introduce me directly, or if you go to our website and just hit the referral partner tab, and then you can send a client over that way. And then if you guys send us a client the next week, I'll give you a Starbucks card as a thank you. So, and then uh, I heard a uh, pool party at Barry's house. That's kind of what I heard too, but I don't know. Yeah. Take a day, baby. Take a day. All right. So just so just so we're clear, we're on bluewatercredit.com. Go to referral partners. Uh oh. Did I do it wrong? No. This is do I get a five dollar Starbucks card for pointing this out? Absolutely. <laughs> but it, it when the link works, that's the right one, right? That uh that's interesting. I haven't seen it do that before. I was literally on there this morning. So I'll, I'll yeah, I'll get this working today. <laughs> so maybe it might be my fault, man. I just didn't update my browser. So yeah, no worries. You guys can email me directly, jeff at bluewatercredit.com. Okay, fair enough. So I used to work for Jeff for like five years. Yeah, yeah. And he's awesome. Hi, Jeff. Can you stand Hi, up? We're kind of hard to see. Hey. hey. Um, get a free consultation for yourself. Because they can take care of everything and give you advice, and yeah, awesome. So, and for, for years now, I've used probably a decade now, or since it started, just about I've used uh, Jeff, and I give all my clients the money back guarantee, like not a money back guarantee, but if they use them, I'll refund all their all their uh, money that they spend. Well, that's smart to house. get them off the fence. Yeah, and it really has never been a problem for me. So you know, it's always been money well spent. You guys are awesome. So it's a privilege to work with you and to serve your clients. And if, if there's ever anything we could do to support you guys better, you know, feel free to let me know. Awesome. Thanks so much, Jeff, for hopping on. Round of applause, guys. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. All right. See ya. All right, everybody. Well, that pretty much wraps up today. I did want to share one, one thing. Um, Johnny, while you're pulling that up, amen. I just... Um, Make an announcement to you guys. I'm going back into property management full for um, full blown. Um, so we just picked up an account with. I think right now we have 50 doors under management, and so I'm in the middle of this week of setting that up. So I'll be kind of locked down on that. But um, if you have any clients that need anything going forward, just let me know. I'll be glad to take care of that. I used to do a property management company. We had 300 accounts, 300 doors under management before, and uh, we feel that this is a good time for people to. Um, increase their rental because a lot of people aren't going to be able to sell for the prices they wanted. And so we're going to see an expansion in property management rentals. So if you guys have anybody send them over, I, I make sure they come back to you when they sell. And I also um, will give you a nice little referral. Boom. No. Thanks, Barry. So I'm going to share one thing that came up. Yeah, man. So I got a call the other day uh, in regards to a um, uh, it's not a duplex, but someone on each side is all like it. Half buttons, okay? We had, there was a drywood termite finding in the garage of one of the half buttons, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the good. primary recommendation from the termite company has to be going to be, we have to recommend it to be. Now, the homeowner on the other side is like, there's no way to put the on my house, I'm not getting out. And they're at standstill. So we talked to the inspector, we send our guy, it wasn't our, it wasn't our original inspector, so we sent someone out. It's in the garage, it's pretty extensive. So how, so 
we we ended up we're going to end up offering a secondary recommendation for local treatment, but the only guarantee they're going to have is the area that we're treated, and that has to we have to leave with that because widely rare, right? So um, I wanted to kind of bring that up. To what we're seeing is obviously there's there, there's an influx of newer inspectors that just say the community is going to see it. Um, but obviously there is a way to get around it. Obviously, if you're putting all the cards on the table and fully disclosing, hey, here's the risks, but we can do it. Uh, there is a way around it, but um, always have a good second opinion on stuff like that as well. Because again, like this, this expected license on was like 75,000. It's been licensed for about three years. <laughs> good news. You guys have good resources in this room. Just make sure to see stuff. Some oddball company that you're not familiar with. Love it. And and hey, Johnny. Yeah. Make sure for everyone in there that when you go to Finley, you ask for Dan to be the one that crawls the properties. I only trust Dan. That's what you say. I, I only, only trust Dan. He has to do it. <laughs> under white shirt. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. Real quick, we're running short on time, but I just want to let you know. I threw in the chat box again, noon. If you have, if you're a new agent or if you know any new agents or if people are getting into the business and you think they could benefit from this, what we'll be going over is how to create a database. There's tons of great resources in here. It, like I, Pipes is telling, Bill Pipes is telling me I need to sell this, this freaking process. Um, but we're going over how to create a database, how to host open houses, how to follow up after an open house and how to follow up for new leads, old, old leads and your sphere. We're going over this over the next 30 days. So this is all, all for free, and it starts today at noon. So and with that, that Johnny, are, are those calls recorded for people who can't attend? Um, the yeah, so the calls aren't recorded, but the all the modules are. So basically, the module you watch the modules. Today's like the meet and greet, but um, the modules are recorded, and then um, so you can go through the content that way. But um, it's the Q and A is what happens during our thirty minute our thirty minute um zoom call again it's made for more zoom.com quick start link is right there if you want to register it's free it doesn't cost you a thing it's a great resource for your agents um yeah so with that everybody have a fantastic thursday thank you so much thank you. so john john if i'm sending it wow. out i go to make it more